I'm just feeling so awkward. Like, my brother's visiting, and I don't know, him and my family have such an awkward relationship. I live with my parents, but I stay in the basement. Um, they know that I'm trying to find a place, except for I have a roommate, but we don't have a place, and um, we had a house before Christmas, like an apartment, um, but that got rented over Christmas before we got to, like, say we're cool with it, because I didn't have a roommate at that time. I haven't even met this person. I'm just hoping that I get along with this person, because, I don't know, I just feel so awkward, like, with my parents. It's awesome. Like, I have this wonderful apartment, and this wonderful house, and a wonderful fireplace, and my cats love this wonderful place, and... I don't know, the relation, like, I don't have anything in common with my family, and when I try and explain to them, these are my, like, issues, it's like, they don't understand, um, my issues, some of them, some of them, yes, they understand, and some of them, they don't, and it gets really, really awkward, and I'm just, I'm just having a really stressful time, like, not last night, but I think it was the night before, I was like, I woke up, sometimes I wake up at night, and I don't know why, but I'm like, really like, um, bloated, and I'm really have a bad headache, and then I'm dry heaving over the toilet, well, that happened like two nights ago, because I was just so worried about my brother coming to visit, I guess, and I thought I was going to throw up, and I didn't actually throw up, but, you know, then I just took some of my natural, I have some little natural stuff that I have to get me back to sleep, and that kind of works sometimes, it doesn't always work, and I just, I felt so nervous, and I'm not really, trying not to go into why I'm nervous, because it's like, um, a lot of, uh, family, um, issues that I have dealt with, but I'm just, sort of, my brother goes on <laughs> Tuesday, and it's starting to get a little bit better, like, I actually had a little nap today, and tomorrow they're going to go to Winterlude, which is an Ottawa festival we have here. My mom says, hey, do you want to come? And I'm like, well, how long are you going for? And she said, oh, several hours. I'm like, no, because I don't go out for that long. I get panic attacks. And then she's like, oh, well, you know, you can come. And then if you um, get, like, so that you, you can't handle it, you can take the bus home. Part of this is across the border in Quebec, I think, part of where the snow sculptures are. Um... And anyway, as I was telling one of my Skype friends, bus drivers know if I'm having a panic attack. Sometimes one of them seemed to, and I had always worried about the people on the bus. If they call 911, which they don't need to, my panic disorder is a panic disorder. You don't need to call 911 for a panic attack, but he's responsible for me when I'm on his bus. It's not like I'm doing anything outwardly. I'm just like really, like that time that they thought I something was weird, and he asked if I was okay, I was just really confused, like, I couldn't figure out if this is the right bus, and the, anyway, it's, I have all sorts of different symptoms with my panic disorder, and I have all sorts of excuses why I don't want to leave the house, and some of that is just worry in my head, and probably not even true, but I know that I did have a panic attack last year when I was with my stepdad, and we went to the, see the snow sculptures, because we got lost, and I was in the car with him, and sometimes with my panic disorder, like my panic attacks, I get so that I have this desperate re um, thing, like I really want to leave. I want to leave the car and go home, which makes no sense, because he could just drive me home, but I don't want to tell him. I just want to get out of the car and run, and that would take me like hours to get home or find a bus somewhere, wherever I would be. I, I don't even think of that. I just think I have to flee. I have to get out of here. And that's what I feel. It's this desperate urge to run. And it's just a horrible feeling having this disorder. Um, but like I said, part of it's my own self having so much. As I was talking to another Twitter friend, I am very comfortable in my house. Actually, probably talking to the same friend. And I'm so comfortable that I'm not really complaining. I have my Twitter friends. I have my television. I have my wonderful cats. I can go to the stores, which are pretty nearby. Um, I can go an eight-minute walk around my house. Lots of stores. I'm okay. I have my worker, but we seem to always be, like, fighting. Well, the thing is, I always think she's upset at me. 
I'm I'm thinking like when she made that comment the other day about organics and I just get really offended and I start listing my whole this is what I spend this on this is what and it's not bad is it is it and I always have to look for validation and I know it's me I know I'm kind of screwing up relationships and I'm screwing everything up and part of it is my need for comfort my need to be alone and my need to control situations and that's why I really love the internet and I really love so social media and I really love people talking to me on Twitter and I feel like I'm a real human being even though I haven't met half of you people out there and the people that comment on my vlogs but thanks so much because you make my life worth living and I know I'm gonna figure it out one day but I don't think there's I've gotten the right kind of help yet I guess but that's another excuse I guess but anyways thank you so much bye